kurta can be stitched with a straight uh, flare or little like a line flare or little more flare like flared kurta or more flare like umbrella cut or full fledged flare also you can add, do with the overlap kurta overlap kurta is evergreen kurta it is uh, never be out of fashion so any time you can uh, wear overlap kurta this is called angraka kurta also this is the right part, part right hand side part of the front part and this overlaps always on the left side so this uh, here the uh, you can attach with the border lace or anything you can enhance the, your kurta with this and here some tie strings will be there so that you can uh, do as per your convenient or the measurement so this is also uh, looks very graceful with the overlap kurta and this part can be done with the knot with the straight or you can make it scallop like that round or this way any shape you can cut and finish the open part of this kurta this string will be up to the waistline then later on this is this lap is 5 inch so it is uh, lapped properly and if it is free flowing then it it looks nice don't stitch but it let it be like that so that it this uh, kurta will look nice in this way only this is already lapped 5 inches bottom part and top part both and the bottom part edges also finished with the lace so it looks very nice when it is open this way then no need to open for the side slit if it is flared if it is straight then you can keep open on the front and both the slits too for the comfort to maintain the lap the strings should be stitched on the left hand side part on the edges and the right hand side the seam line part in this free part attach the string and tie with this so that to it will maintain the lapping part and later on on the top part you can stitch strings on this edges and this part or else you can stitch hooks also to maintain the lap so both the way you can do lap kurta can be stitched with the two piece also this is the top part and the neckline is this way and it is ending here and it is joined with the bottom part this way so in this case the if the bottom part is flared then it looks very nice so can do accordingly for the two piece overlap the left hand side part which is uh, will be on down side it is stitched with the side seam of the right hand side part so this is the lapping part so to keep to maintain the lapping so that this part lap this way but always right hand side part will be on top and left hand side part will be on downward so this is this way also you can stitch your overlap kurta for the overlap kurta also the measurements and the calculation will be same as in plain kurta and a line kurta or flared kurta so you can take your measurement and do the calculation same way so this is the written instruction for the overlap kurta maybe some points uh, number may be here and there but the method is same you can keep your um, paper pattern drafting for the plain kurta without dart that also you can use for the back part or front part to place and cut on the fabric so these are the instructions cut in the same way the way you have done for the plain kurtas so back part will be on fold this front part this way 
as the this front part both the parts are open on open so this is the straight part of the front kurta and you can place this way so this will be the 5 inch extra front part the 5 inch extra will be from 0 to 1 and down b to 1 so you have to keep this lapping part extra only the front neck length you have to to in a way the shape suppose this is the 0 to 14 is the front part neck length and this is 0 to 7 is neck width so match your 7 and 14 with the scale and extend it up to the c i am showing by placing the scale so match 7 and 14 and extend it up to the 7 the way it goes front part the cutting point will be b13 13 11 9 back or front arm hole in back part you cut separately and for the front part front arm hole shape 6 7 and 14 and c the overlap kurta with the flare you can cut the sleeve as per your choice step of stitching of overlap kurta is to finish the edges of front part that you can finish with the lace any kind of border or you can just fold and stitch edges you have to finish from the neckline to downwards up to the flare maybe straight or maybe flared or whatever so the first stitching step is to finish the edges of the front open part including neck shape match your front and back shoulder and stitch the shoulder part finish sleeve bottom you may stitch with the same border whatever you have done with the front part or is any way you want finish the bottom part of the sleeve and join the sleeve by matching front to front and back to back armhole shape seam along with the sleeve up to the downwards if it is straight then you can go for the slit open finish the side seam line finish the side seam line along with the sleeve and if you want to it is if it is straight then you have stitch up to the hip line and then finish the slit along with the bottom flare and if it is flare then after the side seam line up to the bottom flare then finish bottom flare separately so this we finish a beautiful overlap kurta this is a very nice kurta stitch one and show me and send me the picture read the stitching of overlap kurta it is always in fashion or evergreen any time in any occasion you can wear this beautiful kurta so just uh, show me whatever the overlap kurta you have stitched please send me your pictures and i'll be happy and if there is any problem you can ask in the next video i am going to show you the anarkali kurtas with a different type of flares so different type of flares you can do with the anarkali kurta so that i'll show with the gather or flare so keep watching on subscribe now